I'm here to talk about TENS. TENS and other modalities oftentimes gets a bad rap within the physio community because there are other interventions that we know are more efficacious and effective, like movement and exercise. However, there are times when someone is in such acute levels of pain that they physically cannot even get to move. And I've experienced that firsthand when I had low back pain a couple months ago and I threw up my back deadlifting. I used this TENS unit, this Be Well TENS unit. I had it on my back the entire time I was at work. It helped me keep my pain levels at bay without having to resort to pain medications. Now, there's something that I want to focus on for TENS. TENS can work. Know that there are other things that you could be doing. If you're able to move, keep moving. If you're able to exercise, keep exercising. But TENS is something that can also be applied in addition to all your other treatments as you're dealing with pain and discomfort. Now, there are a couple big things for people that buy TENS units at home to know. A, you need to be able to put the TENS unit on the correct spot. A lot of these applications tell you where to put them, so that helps. B, knowing that having TENS on for 5-10 minutes really isn't going to do anything. You've got to have it on for at least 20-30 to 30 minutes and you're going to get the best effects while it's currently on. The moment you take it off, those effects really start to diminish. Third and foremost, you have to have um, a TENS program that is constantly changing the parameters of it. There's things like pulse duration that need to be constantly changed, changed as you're having the TENS on. Your brain is really, really smart. It's going to do something that's called habituate and it's going to be able to basically take the tense response and say, oh, that's normal now, it doesn't feel like anything's different. Very much how we how like when we wear a shirt, we don't necessarily feel that the shirt's on us because our brain and our body gets used to feeling the shirt, so you don't feel it anymore. Whereas when you first put it on, you might feel there's a little bit of scratchiness, you might feel a tag, we normally don't feel the tags at all. So those are the big three things that you want to be able to look out for. Sorry, the fourth one is you want to make sure the intensity is really, really high. A lot of times in the research, the intensity is not high enough. You want to be able to pump up this intensity as high as I can literally physically imagine without it causing any pain. So you want to bump up the intensity as high as you can, A. Make sure the electrodes are placed in the right spot, B. Uh, make sure that you have a program or have some sort of smart app that's constantly changing the pulse duration, frequencies, and other things. That's three. And number four, this is an adjunct to all your other interventions. Keep moving, keep exercising.